Hi, and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll cover setting up a device to give remote network access. We'll also cover setting up a DALI gateway. To get remote access, a shared Kasambi network needs to include a device running the Kasambi app, connected via Bluetooth, and also with internet connection. Specific gateway products are available, but a mobile phone can also be used. The device must always be powered with the Kasambi app running and all auto updates and power saving options disabled. Unshared networks can't have a gateway enabled. Enable the gateway by logging into the network from the gateway device and going to the gateways view. Enabling the options for data collection allow data from network sensors or suitable luminaires to be transferred to our cloud server. In most cases, these can be left disabled. Once the gateway is enabled, you can access the network from anywhere using a device with internet connection and the Kasambi app. You can control or program remotely, but pairing or unpairing devices isn't possible. If you have an application where you want to control Kasambi luminaires from a DALI system, you first need to connect a CBU DCS to a powered DALI bus and configure it with the DALI gateway profile. Then pair it to your Kasambi network. Select the DALI gateway, change its name and icon if desired, and then set the DALI gateway parameters. Control scope defines what Kasambi luminaires will be controllable from DALI. If you don't want to control all luminaires, then you first need to create a scene in the Kasambi app that contains the luminaires to be controlled. Then set that scene as the control scope. Luminaires that aren't part of the control scope will only be controllable from Kasambi. Next, set the control priority. This tells the Kasambi system the importance of commands it receives from the DALI network. There are four options available. Higher than manual means the DALI commands are the most important and override all Kasambi commands. Manual is the default setting and means that DALI commands have the same priority as manual control in the Kasambi network. Higher than automation allows the DALI system to control luminaires that are not already under manual control from the Kasambi system. Finally, lowest priority automation means any control from the Kasambi app is more important than a DALI command. Therefore, luminaires will only react to DALI if no Kasambi command is active for the luminaires in the control scope. The control hierarchy tutorial gives more information about manual and automated control priorities. Enabling export sensors or switches allows Kasambi enabled sensor or switch commands to be seen as DALI 2 commands by the DALI network. Once set up, you can discover, address, program and control Kasambi-enabled devices using DALI configuration tool software. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.